Hello. Today I'm going to go over uh, causes of plate motion. So we've talked about plate tectonics and the movements of plates across the interior of the earth. So the plates sit on top, right? That's our crust. And they're broken into these big chunks like a cracked egg. But they move and we know that they move, although very slowly. So what are some of the forces behind this movement. We have the image here, we've seen this before, where this hot material from the Earth's interior rises up, and that's because of convection, where the hottest material starts moving up, cooler material moves down. And as it rises up, it pushes on this boundary between two plates. So I have one plate here and one plate here, and it pushes up into that boundary. Well, these convection currents inside of the Earth, they force hot magma up into the crust, and they push these two plates apart. Um, the way that they push these two plates apart, though, has to do with the fact that as the magma comes up, that crust acts as a barrier. So the crust acts as a barrier and forces the magma to either side, right? It has to go somewhere, and only a little bit of it comes up through here to form new crust. Most of it is going to get pushed to either side. So the forces of, mag forces of magma in either direction under the crust. And this is important because the magma is flowing under the crust here. And as it does that, it's kind of dragging the plate along with it. So as that magma moves, there's friction between the crust and the magma, and it just drags that plate along with it. But besides that friction, there's a couple of other things going on as well. So there's the friction underneath from the magma. But let's take a look at something called ridge push. So during ridge push, the boundary has been pushed up by the magma, and we see that here. So the magma is pushing up on these two plates on the crust and actually raising it up above other parts of the crust here. Well, if that's raised up, gravity's still pulling down on everything here. So gravity pulls on the ridge, pulls down on the ridge, and the ridge slides down from its elevated position. And you can see that here. This is exaggerated, but you see gravity pulling down. This ridge is a little bit higher, and now it's gonna start sliding down just because of gravity. And, it, and this slide pushes the whole plate. Okay, that's ridge push. All right, let's look at the last one. So these are all reasons why the plates are moving, right? Let's look at the last one. We had, as a reminder, magma moving underneath, sliding under the crust, and the friction there moves the plate in the same direction. We had ridge push from our peak, right? Our peak here, gravity's pushing down that ridge or pulling down on that ridge. And so this part of the crust pushes the rest of the plate. Now the final one is gonna be slab pull. So slab pull takes place at the opposite end of the plate. And by, that, by the opposite end, I mean, you can see the ridge push here at the opposite end is slab pull. As it sinks back into the earth. So the slab pull takes place at the opposite end as it sinks into the earth. You'll notice this plate is going back down into the earth underneath this plate here. And the reason that one is going under a, another 
is because the higher density plate subducts under the lower density plate. So this one sitting on top is lower density and this one going under is higher density. And that slab pull pulls it down into the ground as gravity also is, is pulling it down to the center of the earth. So these are three things that um, cause this plate motion and for these plates to move millimeters to centimeters per year, which slowly adds up over time. All right, thank you.